Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Odefell and I do a bunch of cool nerdy reviews as well as cosplay videos and comic talks. So today we are going to be taking a look at the June Otaku Box and I am super excited to share with you guys. So while I go ahead and start cracking this open, let me tell you a little bit about the Otaku Box. Otaku Box is a monthly anime subscription box where you get at least one shirt one wall scroll and one figure every month as well as an exclusive pin. Additionally, something else really cool about Otaku Box is they do a monthly voting system where you can vote for which waifu you want to see in the box as the wall scroll and t-shirt option as well as generally what animes you're interested in so they can read their fan base and give you the coolest products they can so it's always up to date with what's hot in the anime world. So Otaku Box also comes in Otaku Box Mini which is half the price of the normal Otaku box, and pretty much it is everything except the figure and the t-shirt. So if you would like that option, it retails for about $25, where the full size retails for about $50, but you can also, on their website interface, go ahead and pick and choose which options and come up with what box fits you best, and I will insert a little clip of that here. Hello guys, so I wanted to show you the Otaku Box website real fast. And on here they have a bunch of cool features such as the countdown clock for the current box as well as what comes in the etching settings as well as your place to vote which waifu you would like to see in the upcoming box which is a unique feature to this subscription box compared to many others that I've seen where you actually get to be somewhat hands-on with what you get. Um, there's also a section down here where you can see other cosplayers and fan reviews of the product, which is really cool that they post them on their website, including myself right there. So that's a really cool feature as well if you're looking for more reviews before settling on buying the product. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and look at the checkout feature. So once you get in here, you can choose what you want and don't want to do the figure, the etchy, and the t-shirt. Now your choices here will determine whether or not you get the $25 mini or the full price of Taku Box. And then additionally, this is where you can enter in your coupon code and get that sweet, sweet $10 off your first two boxes for Otaku Box. So if you would like your very own Otaku Box, feel free to use my code ODDFELL and that will get you 10% off your purchase of an Otaku Box, an Otaku Box Mini, or something in between. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what June has in store for us in this Otaku Box. Ooh, okay. So I'm pleased because, uh... Already, it's a couple of my waifus that I see on top of the box. Um, there's really no good way for me to show you the top of the box unless I shift something around. But I will and try and give you guys a sample of what this box looks like this month. First, let's go with the wall scroll because that's what's on top. I kind of set it on top to cover the figure, but nonetheless, it's on top. Okay, so starting out with the wall scroll, let's go ahead and unfold that. Okay, so the wall scroll this month is Albedo from Overlord, and she is looking super cute. I love her pose and her outfit, and altogether I'm really into this wall scroll. As I've said before, I really like that they are kind of a silky texture. I think that it looks better as a wall scroll and altogether hangs well. Additionally, I just feel like the sheen of the silky fabric looks fantastic when printed on. Let's look next at the exclusive pin, and it is of Asuna from SAO, and she is in her season two beginning outfit when she's the captured queen of the fairies. So that's a really cool pin, and that will definitely be going on a convention bag or something. They're a really nice standard size pin, so they really work on anything that you would want them for. So next, let's look at the t-shirt, and I'm pretty sure this will also be uh, Albedo. So here is the t-shirt. It is a men's size small, so if you're smaller like me, it'll be a little bit big on you, but altogether, I think it's a really cute shirt. It's printed onto the shirt instead of being a decal, which I really like, because it keeps the design from chipping or fading as much as it could, and yeah, I, I really like how they are kind of a sports athletic fabric. It helps it breathe and be really comfy, and altogether, I think their shirts are really, really nice. Next, we have this super, super cute phone charm, which is from My Hero Academia. It is of Deku, and once again, like the anime trash I am, I'm going to go ahead and put down 
below a counter of months where I still have not seen My Hero Academia. I think I do this almost every month, but nonetheless, here's the counter. <laughs> so this is a super cute cell phone charm. It is that kind of plasticky, rubbery anime charm that is pretty standard for seeing at conventions and stuff, so it'll be really nice. It'll go with any of your other charms you already have. It would look really good in an Ida bag as well. Super cute uh, little Deku charm to go with anything. Your phone, Ida bag, keychain. I think it's a really solid choice for them to do cell phone charm. So next we have another one of the thick cut vinyl stickers. Last month we had one of Sinon. This month we have one of Riaz from High School DxD. We should not be surprised that we're seeing more High School DxD because it's still ranking in the top five anime on the Otaku Box website. And overall, I think Riaz is still number one girl, especially in the month of June. So it's good to see that they included Riaz in this box. If not, I would have been honestly a little bit surprised. She's in a really cute kind of kimono print looking bikini and it's super cute. I love how thick and somewhat spongy these stickers feel. It kind of reminds me as a kid when you had the, the puffy stickers. It's not quite that puffy, but it, it reminds me of that more than just being a flat vinyl decal sticker. They would be really good on things like sewing machines or trunks or anything really that you want to stick a big sticker on, but it is a really nice vinyl cut. So next up is a super cute hat from No Game No Life, and I really don't know if the characters in the show would wear this because they are <laughs> shut-ins or hikikomoris, but nonetheless I think it's a super cute design and I honestly wear the yellow a lot as you can see, so I see myself honestly wearing this hat quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on because why not? So it kind of makes it hard with the lighting, but this is a really cute hat and I'm really into the design on it. I'm really pleased with the color too. Like I said before, I wear a lot of yellow and generally No Game No Life is a really good and really cute anime. So I really do see myself wearing this hat quite a bit. Okay guys, so last but not least, let us do a drum roll here. It is figure time, and I'm actually excited about this figure. As you can see, I've started putting up figures, and I'm not sure where I am going to put my anime figures just yet, but nonetheless, I am excited about this one, as it is one of my waifus, and it is Luca from Vocaloid. And Luca has always been my favorite Vocaloid growing up, so I'm really into this figure. I think it's really cute. On the box, you can see it has a little bit of a window cut out here, and then on the side, it has different views of her. And then on the top, we get kind of the same as what's on the front. So let us go ahead and open it. I always like listening to her since she was bilingual because I always liked listening to how people played with that in their music that they created. But I would have to say overall, Vocaloid wise, my favorite will always be Mothy just because what he created with the Evilist Saga is honestly still one of my favorite things on the internet. This one matches the Miku and Super Sonico figures as far as base and scale, and even box type. So here is her size. She's a lot smaller than I expected her to be. I actually think she is probably smaller than my Miku and Sonico figures, but I'm not sure. I would have to, to see. They're still in a box somewhere as I'm unpacking at the moment. But no, she's super cute. She's in a dark purple bikini and she has her little headphones and all around. I personally love this figure, but I'm a little bit biased. Here she is on her base. And honestly, I think she's super cute. I think this is a good figure. I have noticed that their figures kind of go up and down as far as quality. I think that these ones tend to be a little bit on the lower side, but nonetheless, I think they tend to be very cute. I do tend to prefer when they have the larger, more intricate figures, but nonetheless, I think that this one is cute and will be a nice addition to my anime collection. Overall, I like their decision to include Vocaloid because I feel like a lot of us who are still otakus to this day grew up on Vocaloid kind of in their teenage years, so for me at least, it brings back some nostalgic memories. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and leave a comment down below. It could be random letters, it could be something you liked about this video, or generally something you want to see in the future. I appreciate all your guys' support, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell at the top for notifications so you see every single time I post. 
If you would like to buy your very own otaku box, feel free to use my code, which I will put here, and it will be for 10% off whichever box option you choose. You can mix and match what you do and don't want your box for something that is both affordable and fun for you. Thank you all again so much for tuning into this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye!